In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use the SUMIF function in Excel to sum dynamic ranges. So sometimes you have to sum ranges, but those ranges are dynamic based on your selection. So in my example here, I have a bunch of spreadsheets and each spreadsheet contains some sales data. And in my main spreadsheet, I'm able to select which spreadsheet I'm looking for. For example, if I wanna look at this spreadsheet over here, Stellar Park, and then within that spreadsheet, I can select which department I'm looking for. And based on my selection, I need to be able to return the sales figure that's given in that spreadsheet. Now, each of the spreadsheets have different names, different business regions. However, each spreadsheet has the same table with the same amount and the same type of departments. What varies is the number of sales that they've made. So, in my main spreadsheet over here, I should be able to navigate to a particular spreadsheet, for example, Terra Grove, which is right over here. And I should be able to select a um, department within that spreadsheet. So for example, for Terra Grove, uh, if I want to look at the appliances division, for example, I want to return the sales. So I can select the appliances and divi appliances division over here. And I wanna be able to return the sales figure $221,000 like so. So I'll be showing you the formula you need to use and how you can pair the SUMIF function as well as the indirect function to achieve this in Excel. So first, a couple of things to note is that I did use data validation to create these lists and to create these lists for the spreadsheet names, I had to extract all the spreadsheets names. So sometimes you might have a, a workbook with many spreadsheets, say for example, 100 spreadsheets. It might be a little bit difficult to copy paste and generate a list for your data validation. I have posted a video um, in my channel that shows you how you can extract the names of your spreadsheets. Um, it, you can find that video on my channel as well. Um, but for the purpose of this video, let me go right into the formula that you can use to sum the dynamic range. I'll go ahead now and I'll start off with the sum if formula. So equals to sum if open bracket and here I'll introduce my indirect function as well in direct open brackets. And now I'm going to um, introduce my region. Okay, so whatever I select from the list, in my case, Terra Grove here, so cell A2 whatever uh, spreadsheet name is selected within cell A2. And remember when we're, when we're um, referencing a spreadsheet within a workbook, um, we wanna rep uh, reference which column within that spreadsheet we're looking for as well. Um, and so what I'll do is I'll add an and, double quotes, exclamation mark, A, colon, A. And the reason I do this is because the business department within each spreadsheet is going to be found within column A, okay? And after this, the third um, third part of the uh, indirect formula is asking us for the uh, true or false. We're gonna skip this. So I'm just gonna skip that, close the bracket right away. And we'll get into the second part of our sum if function, which is going to be the criteria. Now the criteria is, that, is going to be that within that spreadsheet, so within Terra Growth, we're looking for our appliances division, okay? So this is going to be the criteria here. And this is when I'll reintroduce the indirect formula once again, and I'm gonna call back our spreadsheet. So our spreadsheet was whatever we select from here. Once again, and double quotes, and this time we're going to be referencing column B, um, exclamation mark B colon B. And the reason we're referencing column B, as I'll show you in a moment, is because within each spreadsheet, the figures that we need to sum are actually found in spreadsheet in the column B, okay? So I'm going to close both brackets and press enter, and this gives us the value. So now just a quick, quick um, explanation as to why we chose these columns. Um, column B, we chose for the sum range. And the reason being is that if you go into each spreadsheet here, the sales figures that we'll be summing are found in column B. Now, what is the criteria that we chose for our sum if? The criteria was B2. Criteria was that whichever spreadsheet we choose, it has to be um, the specific business department we're looking for. So for example, if we're looking for appliances division, 
then we want to find the corresponding sales value for that. So this is the criteria. And then of course, the first part of the formula, which was the um, range, it was the spreadsheet because we're gonna be going to a particular spreadsheet and then we're gonna be finding a criteria, which is going to be the selected business department. And then we will be returning the final sales figure for that particular department. So for example, if I go and make sure this formula is working, I can select Nabula district. I'm going to select clothing accessories and it comes to just about $340,000. So I'm actually gonna go into Nabula district clothing and we can see that the numbers match as well which means that our formula is actually working as well and we've made it dynamic so that um, the sum if formula is going to be changed whenever our selection changes as well i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please do consider subscribing and thank you for watching